I'm not much of an anime fan. I don't mind it, but it's not really like my thing. However, I have been watching a lot of One Punch Man on Netflix recently, and I've got really into it. Um, if you've not seen it, it's basically about this guy, Saitama. He's the strongest man in the world, so he can dodge anything. You can't be hurt. He can kill anything in one punch. And the series is at its best when it's kind of parodying all the usual superhero tropes. So you have this hero association, this group of incredibly powerful people that are fighting for their lives and the lives of the citizens. They're flinging superpowers all over the place, and they're sacrificing their lives. They're giving these big heroic speeches, and then... If they're lucky, some of them will survive long enough to see Saitama turn up and just kill whatever it is in one punch. <laughs> what really makes it though is how much he hates this. He's always searching for a challenge. He's always searching for something that'll take more than one punch to kill. Not again. All it took was one punch. And he's not really that bothered about the hero aspect of it, at least at the beginning. So could someone like Saitama work as a D&D player character? No, pro probably not, no. I think that to give one player that kind of power would be absolutely catastrophic to the balance of the game and the entire point of any combat encounter in any RPG setting. Unless we were working with some kind of world in which everybody had that level of power. Everybody had this kind of insta-kill, one hit, no second chances kind of fighting ability, and then it turns any combat encounter into almost a sort of a mutually assured destruction kind of scenario, and it will make your game much more social and tactical because of it. Your players would need to rely much more on uh, stealth and talking their way through situations, because to get into a fight would be absolutely catastrophic for not just them, but for everybody around them. I mean, you've got to bear in mind, and I guess Spoilers for the series here, but there are times when Saitama punches an asteroid to death. Look what he does to the moon. So that could be an interesting way to bring this incredibly powerful kind of character into the player's hands. In a more normal campaign, this kind of character could work quite well as an NPC. Now, you might think that Saitama's powers would make him an excellent villain, but I don't really see him going for that if you're going to stick with the same kind of personality. Generally, he's just far too laid back to bother with being a villain. If you do want to stay true to who Saitama is as a person, he's got to be about as neutral as they come. I mean, he's just a hero for fun, after all. Who are you? Just a guy who's a hero for fun. You're kidding. What kind of half-assed backstory is that? In one episode, he only bothers to punch anything at all because he realizes he's gonna miss a big sale at the supermarket otherwise. But a character like that could be an interesting focal point for a campaign. There could be this giant, world-ending threat. Gods and demons cast aside, unable to do anything. The one person that could possibly save the world doesn't really care. But it's up to your players, somehow, to convince this person to do the thing that they do, throw the punch, cast the spell, whatever it is, it doesn't have to be a punch to save the world. So how would you convince this character to come and save the world? Well, ultimately that's up to your players and the dice. I can only help you set up the scenario. It's up to them to finish it. What do you think? Is there any way you could introduce a character of such power into an RPG, be it D&D or something else, and have the game still make sense? What do you think of the ideas that I've laid out in this video? I'd love to hear what you think, so let me know in the comments box, which is below. This is the sort of the thing you have to do to point the comments box. If you enjoyed the video, you can always leave me a thumbs up, and I'd love it if you'd subscribe, join me on the journey that we're going on, see what other cool content we've got coming along in the future. I'm looking forward to it. I hope you are. But until then, I'll see you later.